Shannon, are you focused on my face? You better behave this video. It might be your last video. 2020 is going to be the year of the EOS R. Anyways, let's get right into it. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, Drive It Ryan. If you're new here, I do how-tos, install videos, car reviews, pretty much anything car related. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly detail a car engine bay. I thought my 07 WRX would be a good example because it's pretty much all exposed and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on in this engine bay. It's not like newer cars these days where it's all you open the hood and it's just plastic for as far as the eye can see. So I'll walk you through the process, show you what uh, products I use, and it's going to be a quick and easy one today. Let's get to it. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you're going to want to do this in the garage if possible. If it's not possible, uh, probably wait to do this on like a nice cloudy day where the sun isn't directly beating on the engine because then all your chemicals are going to dry up and it's, it's not going to be good. I'm doing it in a garage because it's about 10 degrees outside right now in Connecticut and I don't want to freeze my boys off out there. So, Another thing to note, make sure the engine is cool. Don't go boosting around town and then pull it in and spray it down with cold water because that's just the recipe for disaster. Just asking for bad news. That's about it, so let's begin the prep work. One of the reasons you may have clicked on this video is because, well, you're nervous. You're nervous. If you get the engine wet, you're going to screw something up and your car is never going to run again. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's okay. It's okay. I've done this hundreds of times. As long as you do the prep work and cover up all the vital components, all the electronics and the air filter and everything, you'll be fine. I'll show you quick. I'll do a time lapse, but basically, you want to protect the air filter from getting wet obviously and this is about as open as it gets most modern cars the air box is sealed so probably don't have to worry about that too much and then I cover up the fuse box part of the battery the alternator and the engine harness back there all that kind of thing all you need to do this some plastic bags, which are a rare commodity nowadays, you gotta pay for it. And some rubber bands. Alright boys and girls. I'm going to run you through the products that I use really quick just so you could get a grasp on it and see everything in one shot. I'll go into more detail as I take you along step by step here. But what I have in my arsenal is a couple of sponges. You can go as nuts as you want with brushes and of all kinds of different sizes to get nooks and crannies and everything. But for the most part, 95% of the time, a few sponges is all you're going to need. As a degreaser for my first step, I use Ardex New Wave. This stuff is great. It's great for engines, interiors, I mean everything, but especially engines. I spray the whole thing down, it gets everything loose, and then I'll spray it away. Next up, I use Adams Car Shampoo or Ardex Car Shampoo. They're both the same. Adams smells like blueberries, so I like that a little more, but you know, who really cares? Um, I'll put that in my foam can, I'll get it all nice and sudsy like it's taking a bath, and I'll just you know, go to town. Next, next step is Engine Protectant and Shine. This one's by Gunk. I'm not like married to this product, but it seems to work pretty well. You'll see that this is step two because I choose to use New Wave as step one instead of their degreaser. I do this because there's a little mom and pop shop down the street that I like to support. They sell Ardex products and I like to buy Ardex in bulk. And you know what? It's just like Ardex stuff. It, all, it always works. And then this is probably optional because I don't know how many of you are ricers like I am with intercooler piping that's polished, but I am going to go over all the piping with Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. I've used this since I was born on exhaust tips and 
basically anything I want to shine. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Step one, which is to rinse everything down. I'm gonna get the pressure washer down, get the pressure washer out, and I'm just gonna rinse off all the loose dirt. I'm gonna use the wide nozzle because I don't wanna go crazy and you know, rip anything out with the high pressure nozzle, the skinnier one. Even though you know it's probably not gonna happen, but better to play it safe. Go wide, not a lot of pressure, no risk of damaging anything. All right, let's do some rinse. <laughs> Gonna strap this down, it's giving me some lift. Pre rinse is done. So, step two, we're gonna bring in the Ardex New Wave. This is gonna cut through the grease and loosen up all the contaminants and dirt on the engine. So, we're gonna dilute this in a spray bottle at approximately four to one for engines. And you're gonna dilute it with hot water. I'm gonna spray down everything and let it sit for, I don't know, about a minute or so. I wanna let it dry and then I'm gonna spray it all off with the pressure washer. Freaking bullet spray. Step three, we're gonna take our car shampoo and we're gonna put about this much of it into our foam cannon and we're gonna foam the whole engine bay down. I also put some of this on our sponges that I showed you earlier. And we're just gonna give it a nice, nice sudsy bath. This will make it look 10 times better. Now, I'll be honest with you because I know I'm gonna see this in the comments. Foam cannon probably isn't necessary for this job. The honest truth is, I just love using this damn thing so much that I use it any chance I can get. That's the truth. Something so oddly satisfying about that. So I have two sponges in my soap bucket here. I have the clean sponge. I mean, they're both clean, but this one's a little nicer. I'm gonna use that, this for all the painted surfaces. And then I have my crappier sponge for lack of a better word, for all my rough surfaces. So, I'll probably time lapse this. It's gonna give it a little scrub. and obviously rinse it off. Now I'm gonna shut the hood quickly and rinse off all the suds that got on the outside of the car because I don't want that to dry. Step four is to get a blower of some kind and dry this engine bay off as soon as possible. I'm using a Husqvarna gas job. It's probably not smart for inside a garage. I'm probably gonna fumigate myself, but I recommend probably, yeah, probably get an electric one. I gotta get one, but this old gal works for now. Let's see if she starts. Oh. See, first time. Oh, oh, oh. It's already looking way, way cleaner. 
she's steaming. But we are ready for the next step, which is, what are we on now? Step five, right? Step five, we're gonna get our engine protector and shine. And mm, yeah, I'm not gonna spray it directly on the surfaces. I think I'm gonna spray most of it on the rag so I don't get it all over the place. And this should bring out the shine in all these black plastics and just make it look a little better. I didn't mention this before, but on all the painted surfaces, I'm gonna use a little bit of Ardex Rapid Wax. It's just a simple spray wax. I'm gonna spray it down, wipe it off, just to add a little bit of protectant onto the paint, that's it. You know, I love this Rode VideoMic Pro. But it has an on off switch and sometimes I forget to turn it back on. So I'm going to re-record what I just did. Step six is mother's mag and aluminum polish. You see? So this isn't going to apply to everybody. Only ricers like me. I'm going to apply a little bit of this to the rag. And just go in a circular motion on all the intercooler piping. And then flip the rag over wipe it off and this is gonna be a game changer it's really gonna brighten everything up a lot but when I'm done with this step which may take a little while this engine bay will be pretty much dialed in I may clean the um, engine filter a little bit the air filter it's a little dirty but it's already looking so good These pipes are looking polished. Did the intake too? Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, those lights are bright. <laughs> all right, guys. I can stroke these things clean till the cows come home, but I'm gonna stop here for the sake of the video. It's actually a different day. Look, I got my slip angle attire on. Uh, to be honest, this end is gonna be coming out because well, it's a Subaru and it has low compression on cylinder number four now, so I'm gonna cut it off there. But if you guys got anything out of this video, anything at all, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost at a thousand subs on this channel, so that would help a lot. And uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos. I'm gonna be doing updates on Project Miata, my M3, this car, Gonna start doing some more reviews. Hopefully the weather gets a little nicer soon. It's, it's about the middle of February here in Connecticut, so it's not great. But all right, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.